Alrighty folks, new day. What is today's plan? It is, I wanna get this frame shortened and possibly get the, the rear of the frame. Well, shortening the frame is actually gonna be super easy. But I'd like to get the, uh, maybe the back half of this frame with some dump stuff working. I don't know yet. Uh, don't have a quite plan for that. But uh, yeah, I think the plan is gonna be, for now, I'm gonna pull this chassis out for now. We're gonna pull this box off. We are gonna knock out the nine and a half inches is what we came up with. We're gonna cut that out of the center of this frame. That'll get the box in the zone here and centered the way we want. And then we'll focus on adding to the back of the frame and making that work. That's, that's the plan. Um, I'd like to try to reuse some of the, the dump stuff off of that box. So we'll have to cut that up. I think I wanna pull that outside and actually see how the dump even works. From what I could take a quick peek, uh, what I thought was where the cylinder went was just what they had mocked up on this frame for to put a hitch on. I don't know if you can actually see it or not, but that is actually for a hitch. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of stuff boogered on there. So I'll probably be cutting that off, but from where it's hinged back here, that's where the bumper's attached to and stuff. So, and then it has some good rails going across into the box already. So yeah, I don't know how it works. I think I would like to say, take it out. I'll just put a strap on here. We'll lift the box up and see what the heck's going on, how it works. And if we can adapt it to this box, cause that'd be pretty killer. I think that'd be pretty awesome. If I can figure out this part, what I'm worried about when I put a box on with this particular fleet side is this part here might murder the cab when it wants to come up because I'm a stickler for making my box really tight to the cab, but uh, we might be able to work around that. I'm not sure. Anywho, let's get started. First, I wanna pull that out. We'll uh, pull it out, play with it for a little bit, and then I'll come back in with the tractor. We're gonna scoop this off. We'll set it over to the side here, and then we'll kind of start doing our measuring and figuring out how we're gonna do uh, our, our frame snip and bring stuff in. While we're at it, I'll probably pull the drive shaft off, even though it's like almost ready to come off, which will help the whole scenario because now my drive shaft will be too long, so we can actually fix that instead of too short. Uh, yeah, all right, well, let's get started. Well, that is pretty cool. So, it's pretty much like a, a cool functioning dump bed. I was having a problem lifting it because I didn't realize there was a piece of wire over here. I guess they didn't want it to, to bounce on the road on them. So there's a whole lot of beef in the back of the frame that we'll have to take out and the rear shackles because, well, our spring is gonna be way ahead, so we won't need that, that won't be a problem. And then this frame structure, which is kind of semi-loose here, but, I want to reuse that. So, yeah, I don't know. This is cool. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I don't think there's actually a lot holding the box itself on because it looks like it probably just bolted to the floor. The only thing that would be an issue is in the back because the bumper is attached to it. So I don't know 
if they got some of the the box kind of glued to it somehow. Yeah, I can kind of see there. So I think that's the only issue. We'll have to do some creative chop in there to get the box to come off. Because I think that's what's... I don't think the front's being held on very much. Because I think it just bolted to the wooden floor. But I think some of this farmer, like awesomeness really, was uh, glued on there and holding stuff together. So, anywho. We got, I'm pretty sure I can use a lot of this, so that's a win. And then this will give us a good, some structure, some meat for our box, I hope. I'm hoping it won't sit too tall, but I guess time will tell. We'll find out, maybe it won't be a dump, I don't know. Not a big deal. Anywho, I'm gonna drop this down, and we're gonna just slide the tractor in, slide it under the box, and uh, that way I can get the box off, and then we can start doing some measuring on the frame. Alrighty, we did a bunch of measuring, fidgeting around, screwing up measurements, redoing it. But right now, this is where we are at. We're gonna take nine and a half inches out of the middle. Uh, let me put my light on, make it a little brighter here. We're doing three and a half inch overlap on either side, or I shouldn't say overlap, but a slot. So basically, we're gonna cut this out and then the middle chunk, and then we're gonna cut the top part out so that uh, we have some way to evenly line up our frame after. So when we butt it together, we got whatever, some perfect measurement. I know some people like doing like angles and whatever else. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Keep it between my pads here. It's kind of my goal that uh, we can go. Three and a half is plenty. We'll, we'll plate the outside and then we'll box the inside of the frame after. So it'll be like plenty strong, not a big deal. Uh, we'll just get cut off some of the excess junk on the inside. And I think what I'll do is I will attack it with the plasma because that's just quick and dirty. Then we'll clean it up with the grinder and then we can kind of roll the back of the frame up to here. We're gonna use the hoist here just to support things right now. And because once it rolls, I can kind of, these arms kind of move free. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, yeah, so I think once that's done, then we'll grind and clean it up. I don't want to do it now because I got my nice marks here. So we will leave them as they are and start chopping. So it should be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Anyways, let's, uh, let's cut her up.
All right. Well, we got our, we kind of squared up. We got a couple like common holes here everywhere. Uh, give you some light. So we kind of matched up with the holes. We did a cross reference. We are all squared up. We're within like a 16th of an inch. So we are cherry. We've blazed everything together. So the frame is good. The next step is going to be to uh, uh, grind all this stuff down. I want to plate the, the outside and I want to plate the inside. And I don't know, should be like as strong or stronger than the, than the frame actually was to start with. So, so boom, 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 that's done again, again. I'll probably do like a triangle plate here and then on the inside I'll just do a complete box with you know a couple holes punched just to uh, add some meat to everything. Um, I think the next step is we're gonna set the box back on and uh, I guess I I don't know if this actually bolts on looks like it does so maybe unbolt this funky hitch get that off We'll get the box on and then we're going to figure out how much more we have to add to the back of it. So we'll go outside and then we'll measure up our, well, once we get the box on, I'll kind of get a rough guesstimate of stuff. We'll drag in the other chassis and then the plan is to uh, do a measurement from the bumper to the edge of the box here. We'll see how much we got to grab off of that chassis. And I want to kind of like yada and see if I can use that framing structure for the dump bed, if I can use the two together or not. Well, my brother needed the tractor, so we're, uh, I kind of loosely just threw the box on here quick. We have welded up, cleaned up the frame. So the next step now is I am gonna cut some gusset plates on the table to uh, beef up the frame. The goal is I'm gonna sandwich one on the outside. We're gonna buzz it in. Uh, we'll do a gusset on the inside quick, and then I might just box the perimeter of the frame just to give it some extra meat being that there's possibly I'm putting a, a dump on it. So we'll, uh, we'll just add tons of extra girth to it for no reason <laughs> other than we can. So anyways, I'm going with 3 16 So that chunk of the frame is going to be more solid than the rest of it when it's done, but me overkill. It's not such a bad thing. Anywho, we're going to doodle up some patterns quick and cut them and burn them in there.
Well, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. We got that plate on. Blech. We got that plate in there. I still got to do the inner plate. I'll probably do it on the hoist. It's a lot easier. We cut some extra gusseting to go on the inside of the frame. So now we have more girth where the cut is than <laughs> everywhere else. But eh, that's fine. Um, so, well, the box is like kind of where, where I want it to sit. The body line looks good. Can't really tell, but as far as I can eyeball it, it looks pretty straight there. It's high as heck. We still got to get some tires. I did find on our, our local Virage sale, which is, I don't know, like a, a buy and sell site around here. Uh, somebody has a set of those military tires. Uh, the tall skinnies, it's 900 by 600, so not what I want, but it's affordable. So that's probably what I'm going to go scoop and uh, to put on these wheels. These ones just look the bomb. Ugh, these look awesome. I don't know, the other ones will look kind of lame, but hey, they're what I can afford, so we're going to do that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to take a little break. My brother still has the tractor. I'll come back after. Uh, possibly lift this truck up. I'm not sure. Weld that inside. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I do need to get the other truck. Maybe if he's around, we'll push the other. Or maybe I'll just look at that thing and see if I can cut the box off and get that frame structure. Yeah, I'll do some measuring with it. We'll see where we get. Kind of on the fence here. I gotta figure out, because we don't need a lot of it. Uh, you know what I mean? Like from here to there, then with the bumper. I don't know, I'll get a tape measure, figure it out. See where I gotta do on that setup to cut it off. And if it'll adapt and we can use it. It'd be super nice if those angled rails kinda can go along the side of the perimeter of the frame. And then we have like some good beefy structure we can run these slats onto. To which then I think the plan will be probably just run some angle iron on either side of the box that we can attach all of our runners to or the bed rails or whatever they <laughs> whatever you call them these things and uh, attach it to the back. We will have to pull this bumper off too yet, but anyways, until I get my tractor, we'll uh, we'll sit and twiddle our thumbs. <laughs> So this is how uh, the dump bed works for this setup. 
I don't know if it's good or not, but kind of does the motion. Kind of flimsy, but I think once we get some braces on it, that'll strengthen it. I don't know why I want to dump, but I think it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, from the bumper to here, we probably don't need a lot of this, but the spring perch is a part of that stuff. So, um, I'm just going to cut off a bunch of extra. Uh, yeah, well, I'll measure and I'll see. I don't think we need a lot though, because from our old frame, if we kind of go here, our old frame to the end of the box is like, I don't even know, a foot, something like that. And then if we base, but we can go back pretty deep. So here, if we go a foot, yeah. I just need to come in, like I'm just gonna carve it up somewhere in this vicinity. And then maybe we can slide it in the other rail, kind of attach it that way. But should give us plenty for the dump action. I know the bumper is wrong, so I'll probably cut it off. I dig the bumper, but it's not, uh, it's not wide enough. So for now, I think I'm just going to cut it off. Uh, we might be able to reuse it, but I think I'll have to just maybe carve it in the middle and just widen it a couple inches just so I can use it because I dig it. it. It looks like it would fit the truck perfectly, so it did before. And we probably want to fix some of this anyways, this big bent piece here. I guess it's not really relevant, but whatever. We're going to cut that off. We are going to cut this sucker somewhere in here. I'm just going to cut the springs. Frame's going to hit. That's fine. I have to get all of this boogerness out of here. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we can kind of reuse this thing, rejigger it onto here. That would be so cool. I guess the plan will be, I'm just gonna lift the back of the box up because my brother's got the tractor again. So I'll lift the back of the box up and then hopefully I can cut this stuff all off right that we can kind of just slide her in. Hopefully under these rails and all this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much making stuff up as I go here. But I'm gonna pull this hitch off right away and then uh, I guess I'll pull the plasma cutter out and we'll just start hacking this thing up and trying to make something out of it. And if we don't, oh well. <laughs> if it's a fail, we'll move on. We'll do something else. Not a big deal. Anywho, let's chop her up.
I feel like I've been at that for like an hour or so. I couldn't get any of these bolts loose, so we just cut them. We cut everything that is not relevant so we can use the back rails. I don't know how much I want this to hang past. I'd like to see if I can get this like as close to like the pivot point to the back of the box maybe. I don't think hinging it would make it go you know what I mean? I guess I have to look at the math on it because I don't know if it hinged further back, if it would make the front of the box kind of go forward. I think that's more something that I'm not smart enough to figure out. <laughs> Anyways, this sucker's heavy, but I think I can kind of like finesse this thing, kind of drop it on the ground, shift it around, put it on the frame rail and kind of slide it. And I didn't do any measuring. I just do remember the frame rails are the same width. So I'm hoping we can just kind of tuck this into uh, the original rail here, kind of slide it in, and then we can kind of get a feel of where everything's at. At least that's my plan. <laughs> that stuff has gone south really fast a lot of times, let alone I don't understand how the cylinder system works yet or anything, so I don't know. For now, I just want the dump bed part on. It doesn't have to do anything other than kind of support the box and hopefully not make it go all wacky out of alignment because that would suck. Anywho. Well, I've been banging it around trying <laughs> to square things up a little bit. Uh, I got the cylinder sitting in, well, not the cylinder, but where the front cylinder mount is in like such a weird place. But it's sort of whatever there. Come to the back. We're all jacked up and funky right now because I just have this thing on top of the frame. So it's kind of like kicking the box all stupid, but the... Uh, it looks actually like I would cut this angle and all the garbage that's in this truck originally. I would be, uh, oh, hold on, put the light on here. I kind of feel that 
uh, you can see the, well you can't see, but this is the angle that this whole rigmarole is attached to. And I kind of feel like if we cut that old frame free, little did I know, we can uh, basically notch out this, bring it down, then we can kind of box it all in. I'm thinking, I don't know. Boy, that is a lot of work to put a hoist on a truck. <laughs> Look at all of this. I really have to do a bunch of reverse engineering of the stuff that's here. But, uh, hmm. Well, we got the tractor back. I guess we have to take the box off one more time here and then I can kind of shuffle this around and try to figure things out. I am hoping that if I leave this in the pivot point that when the when it tilts it'll almost pull the front of the box away but I'm no engineer so I need to draw this out and try it. Doodle it and then see what happens. <laughs> so before I do that I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to break. I'm going to go in for uh, supper and uh, scratch my head for a little while and then I guess we'll be back and I'm going to try to like maybe try to hack this thing back up again. <laughs> Continue cutting away.
Look at that. It works. <laughs> well, I don't have no cylinder, but I mean, the overall picture, it actually dumps. That's cool. Very cool. Look how easy stuff would be to load. It's only knee high now. <laughs> oh man. Well, technically it works. We did scrape up the cab a few times trying to figure it out. Those are my marks. And then these are the marks off the box. So I don't know. The easiest way I figured is we'll just cut a small little nook off the corner. You can see that and you can kind of see over on that side. I kind of, well, maybe you can't. The other side's nicer because it's not smashed up. But all I had to do, we'll have to cap this or do something because essentially it just needed a, the tiniest little instead of being square, little slice. This one kind of wanted to murder everything in its way here, which is okay. We got to fix it anywho, so that part's not a problem. But I'm happy, happy with that. Holy, eh? Isn't that cool? I think it is. I have no idea what I would use a dump for, but I have one. <laughs> we definitely gonna have to go further. My brother figures he has a, a, like a scissor lift. It's missing the cylinder, but it has the scissory bit. So maybe we can adapt that into here at some point. I'd like to do that. And then uh, I guess maybe just get a 12 volt, like a, a snow plow pump kind of thing. Just hit a button and it kind of lifts. That's in the past or future problems. For now, we loosely actually have the box uh, mounted. It's not fully well. We kind of have this bracketry sort of burned in, but we got to gusset the crap out of this because it's not very strong at this side of the frame. We still have to look at a bumper. I think I can kind of work with the hitch there, but I don't know for sure. Like we never even modified the back of the frame. So technically I can bolt that hitch back on but I don't know that it sticks out far enough. That's kind of a, a small problem. Uh, well, I'll put this back down and I'll bring you, bring you right back here. Move the back. I gotta do some cleanup because we were doing so much grinding and thrashing. We got such a huge mess over there. But look at that. Isn't that thing so weep? <laughs> it's such a weird proportion, eh? Anywho. We got that done. I think this thing looks awesome. We still have, like I say, lots to do, but hey, for now we can sit back and stare at it and at least I dig it. So I got the bumper here. I think I can use it. Uh, you can just see where they had welded. So I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can find some checker plates, see how bad this thing is. But we can maybe just extend this out the couple inches that I need. Even if we stick anything in there, I don't think it'll matter. It'll just kind of go with the look. But then we'll be able to reuse that on the back of here. But yeah, look at that, eh? <laughs> oh, well, I think that's where we're going to leave this video. I uh, want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.